Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me from. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tino Ajala and today I want us to continue with the discussion aspiration versus reality to get to understand the importance of aspiring and getting inspired but also to understand how to live with reality when and how it comes. We all start life with big dreams, big aspirations, things we want to create, accomplish, and even experience. But if you ask anyone past the age of 40 as to what happened to those dreams, plans, aspirations that you, you had, they will possibly answer life. Yes, it's good to plan, envision, think big, see big life. As even the Bible tells us that a man without vision is as good as dead. But what if life does not take us as planned? What if life takes another course on us? Do we sit down crying and lamenting? Do we sit down blaming and pointing fingers? So join me today as we tackle this subject. And if you're joining me for the first time, kindly subscribe and karibu sana. And if you joined me earlier and maybe you forgot to subscribe, please do so and karibu sana. Aspiration is a desire or ambition for which someone is motivated to work so hard and put more effort in anything they do to achieve something. To win big, sometimes we have to take risks, dream big, and aspire big too. It's healthy to dream, plan, and think big. How about achieving that degree that you have always wanted? How about getting that dream job, which is very lucrative? Imagine driving that Porsche car that you have lived admiring. Imagine marrying through a very big and colorful wedding and settling down to a very beautiful family and a very big home. What of starting up a very successful business that you, you have always desired and dreamed of? All these are sweet dreams that all of us want to have. Of course, who doesn't want a good life? The best time in our life to dare life is when we are still young because at this age we lose nothing, really nothing. It is at this time that when you ask a young one that, hey, who do you want to be when you grow up? One will possibly tell you that he or she want to be a lawyer. Another one will say that maybe she want to be a doctor, an engineer, or even a pilot. These are the category of jobs that we have all made to believe that they are the only academic jobs. As a parent who has such a child with big vision, ambition, and dreams, kindly support them. Support him or her. Use all means possible at your disposal to, uh, to educate him or her. But then, as they continue growing up, let them know that life sometimes doesn't give us what we want. The exposure from a young age to the realities of life and the world is really a good and super thing. Most people don't understand what life is until they are 40. You know, we live with illusions that life is or should be easy. Sometimes it reaches a point where life takes us to the south when actually we really think that we are going to the north. Life may decide or force us to go to west when actually we should be going to the east. When nature starts taking course, here is where some of us start lamenting and crying and blaming life for being unfair. Here is where some of us start pointing fingers, blaming our parents, blaming our friends, blaming even the government for not sidearing us. Oh, Serikali's idea. Oh, Serikali's idea. My friend, the earlier we understand the realities of life, the better for us and even, you know, the more successful we become. What then is the reality? 
well, the reality is that life is very hard and that no one will help you solve your problems. When nature calls, your parents, your friends, the government won't help you. Yeah, they won't. The earlier you take 100% responsibilities of your life, the better and the more successful you become. The more you sit down and start blaming life as being unfair, the more you welcome poverty at your doorstep. By the way, life has always been unfair since the days of our forefathers. You remember the saying that when the you know going get tough, the tougher should get going. It started then with our forefathers. Who doesn't know that even the, in heaven, the kingdom suffers violence? Live alone in your earth. In heaven, the kingdom suffers violence. In the Bible says that the, the, the violence one takes it by force. It reaches sometimes in our life where we start questioning the importance of going to school. We question ourselves as to even why did you even go to school? We have degrees in the house, we have gone to school, we have achieved whatever we want to achieve, we have good grades, we have good papers, but they are just in the house. Here is where someone starts asking, now, what was the reason of me going to school? What was the reason of me acquiring this degree? What was the reason of me acquiring this master's? Well, my friend, go to school. School is as important as you growing up. Yes. Young man, you go to school. Young lady, when the summer, have that degree, have that uh, master's. Kwani, is it wrong to have that you know, legal knowledge? Of course not. Go and have that mechanical knowledge. You know, sometimes some days you know you you'll be you'll be walking down the you know the stairs and you hear your neighbor's daughter who has got a car you know she she's unable to restart her vehicle and maybe you have been crashing you have been crashing on her for a very long time you see your knowledge will help you get a wife you know i'm just saying so go go get that knowledge go get that get that you know medical knowledge go get, get that psychological knowledge you know, as for example, I've got a, a, a pastor's wife whom I know. She, she, you know, she's a PhD holder. She works with one of the universities, you know, uh, here in Kenya. And uh, the other day she went to pursue a diploma in psychology counseling. So uh, you can ask her yourself, is she pursuing that diploma so that she get employed? Of course not. There's also this uh, colleague of mine whom I know who is pursuing also a PhD. And you see, hers is very funny. She, you know, she was telling me the other day that the reason why she's going to class to pursue a PhD is not that she wants to earn from it or is not that she expects the university, you know, uh, the employer to, to promote her with her PhD. But the reason she gave me that she must pursue that PhD because her husband and the two kids, they are already pursuing the, you know, they already have uh, PhDs. So she said that if she don't pursue this degree, this, this uh, PhD, that when they call a family gathering at home, it, it, it will look like she is the only one who is unlearned. Imagine that. Sounds funny. Let me read you a story. Imagine a big story. Kuna, there's one of this friend of mine uh, who, who graduated with a bachelor's degree in medicine and now he was a full doctor. So as he was awaiting to get employed, he decided to come up for driving lessons. So some of the friends were asking, so uh, 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 driving and even do have a car, you don't own a car. So uh, this guy, 
uh, pursued his lessons, so he finished. And uh, one day, akiwa anatembea kwa barabara. So there's kuna this car that came and uh, it has small mbele yake kidogo tu. So uh, when this guy chungliad in the car, akona this this there was this uh, unconscious woman and the, 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 there was like a small young girl who was really crying helplessly. So ujama kuchungulia, e akaona e, ni kama umama is like dead or not dead. So when he tried, you know, inquiring from the girl, vizuri kwamba this girl knew home. The girl knew the way home. So e, this guy drove this car, akaendesha hawa, akawapeleka nyumbani, akapata e, madam e, Madam Wanyumbani wa, wa kazi, we call them house helps. So akawa me explain what happened, na akawa me hand in e, kifungu, na ikawa kwamba e, the house help in the entire household waka, akawa me shukulikiu mama. So the guy went back. So ujama akiwa e, kesho yake after three days, ujama akiwa natembea the same car, ikakuja bio, ikampita na ikasimama mbeni pale kidogo. So e, this guy, E, akiwa anapita waka hoot. So kuangalia nyuma akaona ni lile gari na ni yule mama alikuwa me, alikuwa membeba juzi. So vizuri kumbe kulikuwa na mboja ambaya alimukrikogonize. So e, th- this mama thanked this guy so much, haka mshukuru sana and he invited this guy to their place. So this guy got an invitation. So kishaki ujama kwenda, e, akapatu mama na this mama was so happy na akampata pia na mzee yake pale wakawa na mshukuru sana because they said kama angekuja ma maybe robbers wangekuja and they could have done what they could have done so wakamshukuru sana and to fast forward kumbe huu mama alikuwa mke wa waziri fulani wa county county fulani hapa tu hapa tu nchini Kenya so eh, this guy akapa huu mzee huu mama akaombea huyu kijana kazi to the husband so he became the personal driver to the husband and then uh, so the husband is the minister is a cc to 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 the county government so after some three months this guy was employed by the county government as we are speaking today he's the now an official driver of the county government full with medical knowledge yeah full with medical knowledge so you see you see how it's good to, to acquire some knowledges because if this guy could not have you know gone for those uh, driving lessons of course it says bada angekuwa na hustle it's angekuwa bada na hustle at after class so my friend just go to school go learn go have the knowledge go that go get that you know accounting knowledge go that go and get that you know mechanical knowledge you never know it's good to study. We have very many learned friends who are earning their living today as artists. We all know very prominent politicians, the likes of James Orengo, who is a very prominent lawyer, but is earning his living from politics. Who doesn't know Senator Mtula Kilonzo Jr., Senator Murkomen? These are learned lawyers. But you see, they are earning their living from politics. Who doesn't know that Baba is an engineer? But he's still pursuing politics. You tell me today, who goes to school to become a policeman? Who, beca- who goes to school to become a defense force? See, mtu msoma tu, hata kuna policeman wenye ni badaktari, kuna policeman wenye ni engineer. Because while he's a engineer, but kibati bahati nature ikakuja ikawapea kazi kama policeman so in a nutshell what i'm saying is that whatever life gives you anything whatever life gives you take it my friend take it and run so fast don't walk around with your papers your degrees your masters your phd and blaming the government for not providing the 2 million jobs that they did that they promised. Even if the government produces that, those 200 uh, or 2 million jobs, are you the only one? Okay. Juicy, juicy December. More than six universities produced graduates to the uh, world. 
more than six and you know uncountable colleges produced graduates to the nation and to the world sasa hata kama kuna hizi kazi milioni mbili tell me how many will scramble for those jobs you know the good thing that when people are being you know awarded or conferred those degrees the message is always very simple very simple the message is always that you have been given the power to read to read and read not the power to go out and search jobs school teaches us knowledge but life requires wisdom and skills sandra kari once a philosopher said that never mistake knowledge for wisdom as one gives us as one helps us you know earn a living while on the other hand the other one helps us earn a life in my one of the videos to come i'll discuss why education or school is not a guarantee of a good future so if you have not subscribed currently hit the subscribe button and hit that uh, ring button so that when i upload a new video you'll be the first one to be notified otherwise don't take life so easily neither do not take it seriously don't live like anyone don't just talk about your dreams your vision and what you want to become wake up and pursue it don't make excuses start with whatever you have get up and get out that is the reality of life thank you and god bless you